Hello and welcome to Louisa TV. The theme for this week is shine your light. I know I told you I would speak about an encounter I had with a dragon and I promise I will do that within the next two weeks before I leave for Europe. Yes, it's only two weeks away. I'm so excited, but I felt called to share this episode with you. I felt called to express and explore how important it is to shine your light, particularly in the current world and climate in which we are living. It felt passionate and I was excited to and inspired to share this episode with you. But more exciting, I have a gift that I have created for you. It's a fr absolutely free and it's basically to say I love you and thank you for supporting Passion Harvest by commenting and watching the episodes and being part of the Passion Harvest family. There's always a divine light filtering through us and the light is found within us and if you are watching this right now this is a much needed message for you so what does it mean to shine your light well for me for a long time i knew i had this inner light within me i just didn't know how to shine it there was no instruction manual that it came with and perhaps if I shone my light, I would be worried about what my friends and family would think of me and maybe even more I was worried of who I would become if I shone my light, perhaps I wouldn't recognise myself anymore but if I didn't take the opportunity to follow my intuition and this is one of the easiest ways to shine your light, the purpose of life is joy in what feels good. If I didn't take this opportunity, I wouldn't have created Passion Harvest and I wouldn't be here with you now, whatever point in space and time we're having this conversation. So it's so important to shine your light, to show up with vulnerability and your uniqueness. There's only one of you and that the world needs the special gift that only you have. We have to understand the light comes from within us and we need to be a beacon of light for ourselves first to shine our light for others. When we shine our light for others, we're not only offering them love and guidance and support and healing, but this is a co-creative universe. So in turn, we're in fact doing this for ourselves. When we shine a light, we're trusting and following our guidance and intuition. We're open to explore miracles and possibilities. We allow ourselves to flow onto the right path. So often we dim our lights and become a reduced version of who we are. And primarily this is done through fear, through worrying about what others may think through worrying about what we think, afraid to show up as our true selves. But I give you permission today. It's okay to shine and it's wonderful to be you. And I encourage all of you to listen to this message and shine that beautiful heart and that beautiful radiant love that only you have to offer. It doesn't have to be some world changing, life changing event. Shining your life can be the shining your light and your life can be the simple act of telling someone I love you or smiling at a stranger or resting your hand on someone. It's funny how we so often dim our light. We would never walk through a beautiful flower garden and say, I wish the flowers weren't so colourful or so alive or we never look up at the sky in the dark and say, I wish the, the stars didn't sparkle so brightly or we never look at a beautiful sunrise and all the beautiful hues and pinks and colours and say, I wish the sunrise wasn't so radiant today, but you are all of this. We are all intricately connected and it's so essential to shine your light. This is one of the only reasons you have incarnated here. One of your life 
lessons to shine your light, to stand proud and strong and tall in your sovereignty, in your truth, whatever your truth is, in your unus, in your specialness. And it allows for a more flowing life. It allows your heart to sing its full spectrum of colours. It allows you to live a full lived life. So I encourage you to embrace all of you and shine and shine big and proud and strong. Here are five tips to shine your light. Be authentic. There is no one in the world like you. Number two, be vulnerable. Transmute fear into love. Number three, believe in yourself and recognize that you deserve to shine and you have a special gift for the world. Number four, trust that the universe, the divine, is working for you and with you and let go of the need to control. And finally, number five, do what feels good. Follow your bliss. Do what lights you up. Do what rocks your boat. This is your guidance taking you on the path to shine bright. Now my gift for you, this is the most exciting part. I love giving gifts. And again, I've said it's absolutely free. I will put the link below in the show notes. Just follow the steps. And it is a guided meditation that I've created that you can download. You can download it on your phone or your computer and you can listen to it with your eyes closed or on the go or perhaps when you're taking a walk. It's really designed to gain to say thank you to raise your vibration and that basically is a fancy word to make you a little bit more joyful and inspired and happy and of course the purpose of this through love and intention is for you the passion harvest family to be beacons of light in the world so shine your light be brave and be bold and there is no one in the world quite like you transmute fear into love and shine 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 this is my big message for you this week thank you so much for listening to me i have a great interview going to be released this weekend i hope you can watch it it is with a near-death experiencer who spent what seemed like an eternity in hell and she offers you guidance on how to go straight to heaven i know this is a concern for many of the viewers so i encourage you to watch it it's really a inspiring interview so please leave a comment or a question below give this episode a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will definitely see you for the next episode and I promise to talk about the dragon and do download the meditation and please give me some feedback in the comments below and I thank you so much for being you. Much love to you and until next time, bye for now. Mm -hmm.